in this world we have angels the angels that we have are not with bad like whatever it is a human being like you and me these are the people during your darkest moment they take your problems to be their problem one such person i have had very many but today i'm going to talk about one such person who was a major in the kenya army a retired kenya army he minded about me he wanted to look for a job for me he didn't succeed he wanted to look for a job for me more than once he didn't succeed but i'm very sure that uh, it was from his heart and if he would have succeeded he would have been very happy i'm very sure that he was disappointed that uh, he never got me a job let me first of all describe him then i'll describe uh, how he tried to assist me he was working in the army as a major and one time while he was conducting a parade at uh, Uhuru Park, his sword fell. That is the first of the two occasions that I've heard of an army officer uh, on parade who, whose sword falls off his hand. But I'm told that in the army, that one is enough for you to prepare for civilian life. So he was immediately retired. Lucky for him, uh, Pan Pepper in Webuye was looking for a security officer. So he ended up being the security officer in Pan Pepper. When he was a security officer at Pan Pepper, uh, he noticed that his work, he noticed that his work was too much for him he needed a deputy his rank when he joined pan paper was security officer he needed a deputy especially on that period when he is either on leave or he has been called to his home for unavoidable circumstances so he convinced the management and the management sent out word for uh, somebody to be a security officer. Then people applied, people applied, and among the people who applied was the then recently retired Major Ekal of the military intelligence. The advertisement in the press had said that you are going to be deputy, you are going to deputize the overall security person, blah, blah, blah. So Ekal applied. Upon reaching that place, he found that he was finding, I can't, I, was it Major Minor, Major Monkey? I don't know, but he was a Kikuyu. And if you approached him, he looked, he resembled uh, somebody from Karachonyo. But he was a uh, pure Kikuyu. Uh, so when uh, Major Ekal came, he found that the Major, this Kikuyu Major, was uh, overrun. That is one of the problems we have of former disciplined officers finding themselves in private security. I'll talk that, it will be covered later. So Ekal is somebody who left the service clean after retiring or due to age-wise. He was in a sensitive formation he was the military intelligence and he had retired due to age group so he he had stayed as a major for a long time those are the days before we had the tonja rules uh, so he, re he stayed there for a long time and he remembers that uh, when he was made a, a major this other major was still in school so he th there was tension he felt that uh, he was deputizing his junior. So this one thing went led to another, one thing led to another, until one day they fought physically. 
they fought physically in the office. Pan Pepper saw that Major Ekal was in the wrong and he was dismissed. Now they went back to, they reviewed the, 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 the detention and whatever, and they decided that, uh, they decided two things. They decided that this person who's going to deputize the major, one, he is not going to be of that rank. Two, they gave the major a hand in selecting somebody. You know, if you select somebody, he is indebted to you and such a thing. So he went and looked for a captain whose work was terminated because he used to smoke a lot and he used to drink a lot. But he was very loyal to the major. The major naturally hated anybody who takes alcohol. Actually, when he later came to understand that I've never smoked and I had stopped taking alcohol, he became very friendly to me. But then he decided that this fellow whom he could control could deputize him. Then later on, we met and he regretted. He said if he would have known that there is a former police inspector who is jobless, he would have made me that deputy because I don't take alcohol, but since he had already brought his friend and his friend was not giving him a hard time, he, he agreed to make, to, to continue that way. Then out of the blues, you know, he when he joined Pan Pepper, he joined as a security officer. But when he became a security officer and the other major came, there were two security officers and there was that clash of rank. So when he was told to go and look for another person to deputize him, his rank was changed from security officer to chief security officer. And the, I remember the Mukamba captain, he was very good. I, I, he was 25 hours drunk daily, but he was a very polite person, my age, my age. So suddenly his rank is a chief security officer. And then, Pan Pepper decided that he was to move from E quarters to State Lodge, where he was to be made, where he was to be made uh, security. His uh, designation was changed from Chief Security Officer to Security Manager. So there was a plan. He was pushing for a plan that he needed two deputies, and he convinced me. Of course, there was no need of convincing me because you don't convince a jobless person. He had said that um, he would fight for the captain to be made chief security officer and I be made a security officer so that he has two deputies but one is senior to the other. I had no problem with that but it is a proposal that took forever. Uh, that is that. That is uh, his CV. And uh, after I left police service I, I bought some blank video cassettes and dubbed them. Uh, dubbed uh, the cinemas which were famous those days and would go around hawking. Then one day, uh, the major, when he was still the chief security officer, being deputized by the captain, one day I went there to ask the, the, the wife if she, well, the, to give me the, the, the videos that they had for that last week and at the same time see the videos that I was carrying uh, and see which one they can take for the next week. She told me, come in. I entered, had some tea with biscuits, and she told me that uh, her husband was concerned about me. And you know, when you are innocent, you, 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 you say, okay, what is it? And she asked me, my, my husband thinks that uh, you are too intelligent to be hawking videos. What is your background? Then I told her uh, my background that I'm a former police inspector who was in the intelligence. She said she'll tell her husband. The following week when I went there, he had stopped everything because he was expecting me at that time. And he said that uh, the occasions that he had been, well, okay, we talked for two to three hours and then he said that that is a talent that he had missed. If you would have known, especially me coming from around Webuye, Kaburengu, 
he would have made me his deputy and it would have been okay. But then he said, um, that one was water and under the bridge it's gone forever. So he, uh, and, and then this issue of him being promoted to be security manager and transferred came later, more than a year later. So he said that one cannot happen. And then there was a brigadier. There was a brigadier, I can't recall his name, he was in the security company. He was in the security company as the general manager guarding facility. These, uh, you know, G4S by then it was called, uh, G4S at that time was called uh, security. So they were going around and uh, Pan Pepper being a major customer of G4S, the brigadier was to pass through. So he only received the uh, information very late and he had to drive all the way to Kabring and met my father and said, can you tell your son to bring his CV? Those days, CV was different. The CV was just a very simple thing. We didn't have cyber facilities, in fact, computer. So I, I just took a full scan, wrote my CV, then went to the house. Madame was not there, Major was not there. The person who was there was uh, uh, the maid. And you know, the, the maid was the only one who was there, and I gave her the handwritten CV and photocopies of my documentation, photocopies, including my dismissal letter. So I placed there, and, and and since the major knew circumstances that was going on, and he was very close to the brigadier, retired, major retired and brigadier retired, he was very sure that I'd be taken. And the position he was telling me was, uh, they were calling it branch, security branch manager. I don't know how big a branch manager was then or is now. So I went there, found, it, it was in that, this envelopes, A4 envelope, khaki in color. I went and uh, asked the, I went and, uh, and asked the maid if she could give it to him when he comes. Said she, it is easier for her to forget, it was easier for her to forget that. And I said, uh, well, but what, where can you place it, whatever, whatever. She was so confused. And then I told her, which place does he normally go? She told me whenever he comes, he usually uh, takes the house telephone. I don't know, do we still have house telephones? He would take a house telephone, ring one or two people. And so he, and then I said, well, why can't we place the envelope between the, there's a book which used to be called telephone directory. Why can't we place it between the telephone director and the phone? Because he had a habit, those who are old enough will remember, there was a habit where people, someone would carry the, the phone and walk around the sitting room. So I felt that if he carried that phone, uh, he would see, or even when he wanted to ring with that phone, he would see the envelope. He never saw it when he came, the maid did not. And the brigadier came, they talked and talked and they even discussed me. But when the brigadier left, he, ha he didn't have the envelope. I missed a golden chance. To me, what is important is not missing the... Okay, it is, missing the chance is important because I have had a very good job next to my home village, operating from my own house. But what hurt me most is the concern he had, whatever he did. Even though in the long run he never succeeded in assisting me in any way or whatever, but whenever anything he tried for me failed, he used to be hurt. And I feel that forgetting such an angel is itself a sin. I even feel bad that I've forgotten his name, but he was a major, either minor or monkey. If there is anybody who used to work in pan paper those days can place that in the uh, remarks. Thank you. And may God bless him and his family wherever they are. Amen.